Hey everyone, I'm Chase of Rocky Mountain HVMC, and this is my versus of the Tech 7 from Alpine Stars and the Instinct from Fox Racing. All right, everyone, thanks for checking in. So today, as you can see, we have two very special boots on the table. We have the Tech 7 from Alpine Stars, and we have the Instinct from Fox Racing. If you're shopping for a premium boot, chances are at least one of these is gonna be on your radar. So today, I am here to help you out. What I wanna do is just give you my comparison because I've ridden it and spent a lot of time in both of these. So I wanna go through and give you my personal feedback and how these boots stack up to each other in different categories. Now with the Fox Instinct, this is their premium offering. You've got riders like Ken Roxon, Adam Sansarulu, Ryan Dungey, Tim Geiser, those guys are all wearing the Instinct. Now with the Tech 7, what's interesting is that this is actually a medium level boot in their lineup. It's the younger brother to the Tech 10, which is their flagship. But even with that being said, there's still a lot of top level riders like Josh Hill who are still wearing the Tech 7. So that's why we have it in this Versus. So I'm just gonna go through, give you my thoughts on these to help you make a good educated decision. All right, so to get started, we'll talk about price and then fitment. So with the Instinct, you're gonna be about 460 bucks, which I think is a fair price for a premium boot and props to Fox because not too long ago, they actually shaved about $100 off the price just to make it a little bit more affordable for riders. And then you have the Tech 7. One big benefit to this boot is that being a mid-level boot, the price point comes down. You're gonna be about 370 to north of 400, depending on the price, or the, excuse me, the colorway that you go with. But what's nice though is that when you compare this to the Tech 10, which is the older brother, their flagship boot, that's gonna be around 600. So there's a pretty good difference in price going down to the Tech 7. So if you wanna save yourself some money, this is gonna be a great option. Now, as far as fit goes, just wanna point out real quick, remember we have our fit guarantee, so no matter what boot you buy, if you're not happy with how it fits, send it back in brand new unused condition. We'll give you free shipping both ways on your first exchange for the same boot in a different size, or you could get a completely different boot just to make sure you get the size and the fit that you are looking for. So with the Instinct, I've had several pairs of these. For me, the fitment's gonna be true to size. You go back a few years, yes, some people talked about how it ran small. Fox updated the sizing, so now it does fit true. The toe box, as far as the width goes, it's a little bit more on the narrow side. For riders that have really wide feet, I would steer you probably more towards a Tech 7 for that. Me, I don't have a narrow foot, I don't have a wide foot, I'm kind of somewhere in the middle. So for me, the width is gonna be spot on with the Instinct. Now I have noticed from time to time, because I have a lot, I've owned a lot of pairs of the Instincts over the years, that occasionally, not with every pair, I have noticed that I do have a little bit of a pinch point here on the outside, which kind of nags me a little bit. Is it a deal breaker? No, but it's something that I have noticed. But overall, with the Instinct, I can wear these all day long, no issues. Now one thing that I love that the Instinct does really, really good is that when you put these on, your ankle feels like it's just sucked in there. Like it's not gonna move. You have the buckles nice and snug, and you have little to zero heel float, meaning your, your foot stays on the footbed, it's not lifting up, and it just has that feeling that you have really good support around the ankle area. That's something that I think the Instinct does honestly better than any other boot that is out there. Now with the Tech 7, same with the Instinct. The length's gonna be true to size. Like I said, a wider toe box, so if you have wide, wide feet, I say the Tech 7 is gonna fit you really well. And I'm just gonna point it out right now. With as comfortable as the Instinct is, it is hard to beat a Tech 7. If you talk to any rider that has these, that's ridden in these, myself included, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's probably the most comfortable boot that I've ever worn. And a lot of riders are gonna tell you the exact same thing. It's super comfortable right out of the box. And that's one thing that really, these, that makes the Tech 7 shine so much. Now, one thing I do wanna point out, like I talked about with the Instinct, as far as the ankle area, that's one nitpick that I have about the Tech 7, is that when I put these on, I have the buckle cinched down about as tight as I can get them. I still feel like I have a little bit of wiggle room in the ankle area, and I get a little bit more heel float. Is it a deal breaker? No, but it is something I have noticed. And lastly, when it comes to sizing, this is a very common question that I get, is calf opening. A lot of people that have you know larger legs that wanna know, hey, 
you know, which one is bigger. I wear knee braces or I have a big knee guard. The Instinct does have the larger calf opening. So if that's a concern for you, go with the Instinct. But also for riders that maybe have really skinny legs and you wear a smaller knee guard and you're wanting a boot that's on the opposite side where it's got a small calf opening so you don't feel like you have too much room at the top, well the Tech 7 is going to be a little bit smaller up the top. One last thing I do want to point out, might not seem like a huge deal, but when you open up the top of the Tech 7 here, you notice that you have Velcro. When you open up the Instinct, oh, undo these two real quick, you notice there's no Velcro there. So for me, I can live with either one. It really doesn't make that big of a difference to me, but the reason that Fox doesn't use Velcro there, and I have experienced this, I'm sure a lot of you too have, or a lot of you have as well, that when you put on a boot that has Velcro, you cinch down that top strap and then that Velcro kind of binds and you kind of have to undo it a little bit to get it to really you know, lay over nicely. So that's why Fox didn't do that, so it doesn't bind, so it's just a little bit more free floating there. But overall, as far as the fit goes, both are gonna fit true to size. Tech 7 a little bit wide in the toe box, but both very comfortable. So when we talk about construction and braking period, both these boots are actually pretty similar as far as the construction goes. They, they both use microfiber as a base material. So microfiber is actually synthetic leather, and the reason that a lot of companies use it is that they say that it lasts longer than leather, it's a little bit more lightweight, and it breathes better as well. So that's what you're getting as the base material. As you can see, both these have a lot of hard plastic, so great when it comes to impact protection. As far as the weight goes, Tech 7 is a little bit lighter. In a size 9, it's 3 pounds, 13 ounces. Instinct in a size 9, 4 pounds, 1 ounce. So there is a little bit of a weight difference, but honestly, when I put these both on, I don't really notice the extra weight of the Instinct. Now, as far as break-in time goes, this is important because you got to remember that any boot that you buy, it's going to be stiff out of the box. There's going to be a little bit of a break in time, but there is a difference here. With the Tech 7, this is going to be the stiffer out of the two, brand new out of the box. You got to be a little bit more patient with these to break in, but it's not a long break in period. You can see that you do have with that microfiber material, it doesn't take as long as just full leather to break in. You can see also in the back here that you have these, these stretch panels here that's going to help with the break in period as well. But when you get to the instinct, this is one aspect or one area where this boot shines more than any other boot that is out there. And this is something that Fox really prides themselves on is the little to zero break in time. When you buy a pair of these, and like I said, I've had several, I can put these on and within just a few laps, I feel like I've had the boot for a lot longer time. So they break in quickly right out of the box. I have plenty of flex. So, you know, as far as shifting goes and breaking, that's not something that I'm worried about. So if you are looking for a boot, that's gonna have very little break in time, that's gonna offer great flexibility, Instinct's gonna be a rock solid option. But the Tech 7 is not far behind, it's just gonna take a little bit more time for these to break in. Next category is buckles, and in this category, I have gotta give the nod to the Tech 7, and here is why. We'll start with the Instinct. So with the Instinct, the buckles work well. It's kind of a ball and socket design. You take your strap, place it right in there, and it snaps down. So the buckles work well, and the buckles on both these are gonna be replaceable. However, you'll notice my one nitpick with the Instinct buckles is that the buckle itself is kind of short and it's pointy. And there is some cases when these get dirty, it takes a lot more pressure to get those to snap down. And because those buckles are shorter, they do kind of hurt your hands sometimes when you're trying to either pry those up or get those to snap down. But aside from that, when they're clean, they work really well. So that's the Instinct buckle. Now when you get to the Tech 7, a little bit different design here. How these work is you take your strap, you just place it right through there, it's self-aligning, and then once you do that, you can just snap it down. And so with the Tech 7 buckle, I have noticed too, like with the Instinct, that if these do get dirty, it can take quite a bit of force to get these to snap down. In fact, I've had it a couple times where I honestly was pressing so hard, I thought the buckle was gonna break. So what I will do is just take some water or any kind of lubricant you might have, I'll just spray some there at the base of the buckle, and it works fine after that. The reason that I give the nod to the Tech 7 as far as buckle design is just because they're bigger, they don't hurt my hand ever, and it just gives me a little bit more leverage when I wanna snap those down. So those are the two buckle designs. All right, so now we're talking about protection. Obviously with any premium boot, this is probably priority number one. You wanna have confidence that no matter what you're buying, it's gonna offer good protection for you. So we'll start out with the Tech 7. So with the Tech 7, what I like, at a mid-level price point, you're still getting what they have as their biomechanical hinge system here on the outside or a link system. 
And then you have also a pivot here on the medial side as well. This does two things. One, it allows the boot to have good flexibility without getting pinch points or bulging, but also it does offer good lateral support side to side for the rider's leg and the rider's ankle, so it offers good support there. When you look at the back, they have, it's actually a feature that they took from their Tech 10, they put it into the 7, it's their flex blade system, so you have this blade that kind of goes up into this groove, so that's there to help mitigate the, the hyperextension and the hyperflexion. Now when you get to the Instinct, Instinct's going to be different. So they have what they call their dynamic core stabilizer system, and you can see how this works. You have this large plastic piece that wraps all the way around the back side. And what I like is you've got your pivot points here on the medial and lateral side, but also too with this dynamic core stabilizer, you actually have this shelf, you could call it right here on the heel. So what happens is that when this boot is hyperextending, that is designed to have these two pieces contact and help limit that range of motion. So though they do have hyperextension there, help there as well. Now here's what I do want to point out. With the Instinct, when you compare this side by side to just the Tech 7, I already talked about earlier how when I put on the Fox, that my ankle just sits in there nice and snug and I like that secure feeling. You will notice, I can just show you right here on camera, that with the Tech 7, you know, you have good lateral support, but you can see that kind of flexing there as I move this side to side. When you look at the Instinct, it is not nearly as flexible. So this boot does offer more lateral stiffness, which in my opinion is going to offer a little bit more support for the rider's ankle. So if I had to give the nod to just overall protection and support to the ankle, I'd give it to the Instinct. All right, next up we have to talk about just peg feel and just feel in general on the bike. This is something that to me is really important in a boot. When I ride, I want to have a very good sensation of where my feet are on the foot pegs. In other words, I want to feel exactly what's going on underneath my feet. I want to be able to feel my brake pedal. I want to really be able to feel my shifter when I'm catching those gears. And these boots actually both do that really well. They're actually very close. I'd give the slight edge to the Instinct, but with the Tech 7 at that price point, I think it does a really good job. So when we talk about the soles here, both have replaceable soles. Both have a steel shank, which offers good support for the rider's foot. But here's a couple differences I do want to point out. You can see a little bit different as far as their design goes. Now with the Instinct, they use a material called Duratac, which is proprietary to Fox, which offers a lot of grip. It's a very grippy material. And then with the Tech 7, they have a multi-compound sole. And also like the Instinct, these both have really good grip on the foot pegs. But as far as just, you know, the best feel possible, slight edge to the Instinct. I want to point out too, one difference worth pointing here is that, you know, when it comes to bike feel, we're always talking about squeezing the bike as hard as we can. That's going to help control the bike underneath you. You'll notice here that on the Tech 7, you have this insert right here. This is the same hard plastic that comes up over the toe box. It's got this honeycomb design, which is going to help offer more grip. But as you work your way up, this panel right here is actually a rubber panel, which is going to offer a lot more grip than down here with just this hard plastic. So this boot does pretty good as far as gripping the bikes, but you notice that on the outside there, that is just all plastic, which isn't gonna be nearly as grippy as this rubber panel on the inside. Now looking at the Instinct, with the Instinct, you've got that same Duratac material that was on the sole, but you have it along the entire inside of the boot here. And one thing that you'll notice is you've got it here around the ankle, but then this entire inside insert is all Duratac material. So what I like about this is just how much grip that it does offer on the bike. So that is one thing that I've noticed. But overall, with both of these, great feel in the foot pegs as far as braking and shifting. They both do a really good job. So last category we'll cover is just durability. Obviously, no matter what you're buying, you're making an investment here, so you want it to last. Now, as far as the soles go, like I already mentioned, they're both replaceable. And disclaimer, I am not hard on soles. I could have the same boot for two years, and I probably still won't wear out the sole. As in, some riders will go through a sole in six months. I don't know how they do it, but everyone's going to be a little bit different. But the good news is, you can replace the soles on both of these. Now, as far as the overall durability of each, I've had a lot of hours in both of these. I've never broken a buckle on either one. I haven't had any tears. And honestly, for me, the durability has been really good. I've talked to some riders, however, that for both of these have had buckles break. I've seen some other things happen. But for me personally, from my own experience, all I can say is that I've had good durability with these. I really don't have any complaints in that category. All right, everyone, so there you have it. That is my versus of the Tech 7 from Alpine Stars and the Instinct from Fox Racing. The Fox, a lot of top riders in the world are wearing it with the Tech 7. 
amazing boot. And what I love is you're getting that mid-level price point. But if you guys have questions or comments, we want to hear your feedback. So leave that below. If you have one of these, we want to hear what your experience has been with that. And also, given the choice, which of these two would you take home if you could? Now, to pick yours up, you can click on the link or head over to RockyMountAtvMC.com. All orders are over $75 ship free. And if you like this versus video, we have more just like it for other boots. So make sure to get subscribed to the Rocky Mountain YouTube channel. Hit that notification bell and that will keep you up to date so you know when all the latest and greatest videos are coming from us. I am Chase. We'll see you on the trails.